Fusion and DaVinci Resolve is way deeper than most people realize. Reactor alone has hundreds of powerful tools, but barely anyone talks about them. So in this series, I'm breaking it all down one effect at a time. In today's Fusion tutorial, I'm going to be breaking down the card dance effect. The card dance effect pretty much breaks down the image into 3D tiles and slices, and you can move, rotate, dynamically change each slice individually. You can make some pretty cool visuals with this. Let's get into it. You have two slices, seven slices, you can break down to sevenths. You can even go higher than that, but I have to add that to the node. But for now, you can do sevenths. So I'm going to start off with my rotation. And you may notice that it's only changing the first tile. That's because the offset needs to be changed and the rest of the tiles will follow. So I'm going to start and put this back to zero keyframe, make the rotation like me pull up my spline. All right. And now to make the rest of the tiles follow, I'm just going to turn up offset. All right. And if I want the effect to be a little bit more intense for the cards that follow, I can just slightly adjust multiplier and that will give me my desired effect. That looks pretty weird. And if I wanted to add some more pizzazz to it, I could add some rotation anything really sky's the limit the motion blur tends to be a little bit laggy so you set your own risk you can also use the alternative rsmb node for motion blur or the native davinci resolve motion blur node but it works on optical flow so it may look a little bit weird for some all right and that is the card dance node hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.